65 Sports, Ross Dellinger, and then many others nationally with the story that the NCAA is investigating the University of Michigan football team for what they call possible rule-breaking around in-person scouting of opponents. NCAA has alerted the Big Ten. The league confirmed the Yahoo Sports without revealing specifics. And the Big Ten, in fact, released their statement as well, and Garrett puts that up, that they are confirming that the NCAA has contacted them involving Michigan as possible ahead of schedule, in-person scouting, or whatever you want to call it, of an opponent that they have on their schedule. It's been banned since 1994, so it's not like this is a new thing that um, coaches are trying to get around. Uh, and this is going to be – this is really curious for the NCAA in that, as we know, the adjudication of everything that they do takes forever. So – Say Michigan just rolls through and wins the national title, and then we find out we've got an Astros type cheating scandal, you know, on on our hands. Well, now you've got to go back and vacate and all that, and you knew it was happening in real time if you did. I mean, this is this is a real sticky wicket here. And, you know, this is another thing that Jim Harbaugh doesn't seem all really that committed to the college game to me if he's like rolling the dice on stuff like this. Well, I mean, I think that uh, everybody tries to find what advantages they can. It's just that Jim Harbaugh seems to have had a string of uh, trying to find those advantages and getting busted for them. Um, you know, he's now been, um, you know, whether it was the, the hamburger incident, which wasn't just hamburgers. They tried to play it off like it was just that, although it was very much going against the COVID rules at the time. Oops, uh-oh, my bad. And then now this, where, you know, if you look at uh, ESPN, at least, there's an article linked from – quite a while ago, talking about the uh, troubles with um, trying to hide signals on the sidelines. Like, there's a, a that article that's uh, from a while back attached to the Harbaugh article from today. And so it's not a new phenomenon by any means. I think there's probably a lot of people who are, you know, stumbling upon the story going, oh, I didn't realize that was illegal, or I didn't know that you couldn't do this or you couldn't do that. But, yeah, there are very clearly some rules in place. There's a little – oddity here and there that people are bringing up like the, a random halftime interview where there's kind of a comment made by Greg Schiano of like how yep. did he know something was going on or you know little other uh, snipes here and there that all of a sudden you look back on and you're like oh wait a second there was definitely some people aware that you know are thinking that there could be something going uh, going sideways or, or going awry uh, that wasn't supposed to so yeah um, just a really random story. I don't know if there was any hints on the Michigan side of things that something could be coming down. Uh, you know, maybe on their board, sometimes that happens that word gets out early, but wasn't expecting to see this type of a story or see it today. And um, yeah, it's just another little thing with Michigan where it's small enough, I guess, that you could, I, in some people's eyes, go, oh, well, that's not why they're winning or that's not why they're, you know, whatever. But it's kind of like that recruiting thing and going back to that of like, it's just small enough to try and push it off, but it's, when you add it all up, it's like, so he's finding lots of little ways to get an advantage and cheat. I mean, basically. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, interesting how that will be looked at by the NCAA or or what the next steps are. Um, he's already, you know, got suspended earlier in the year for the, the recruiting violations and kind of just brushed that to the side at the time. But here's another thing. It's just like a lot of little things adding up. I don't know, Is is uh, and I read at least a little bit of it, is this from si stealing signs based on others around the stadium, watching a team a week or two or three or four ahead of time, or is this an electronic issue? I think it's probably a combination of several things because I I would think that if you're going to you know take the chance of sending somebody to a game, that you're going to have some electronic – you can say he sits there and he's watching signs and writing them down, but what happens when he – goes, you know, leaves, is he, is he somehow filming it? Is there, yeah. is there something else going on? Is this the New England Patriots type yeah, thing? I don't know. That, uh, I would think you'd have to be some kind of filming it because otherwise you're just trying to do it all from memory, you know, all this time. So yeah, I mean, it just says in-person scouting in the report. Yeah. So I, I don't think it gets into the depths of how they did it or if they had like secret video recording glasses or if they had a full blown iPhone, you know, X record, but it just says that, you know, it was a, um, how do they phrase it? Uh, In-person scouting is the focus of the NCAA investigation. So that's what they left it at based on what I read earlier. RG3 on his Twitter page in reaction to ESPN's story. And again, Ross Dellinger, I think, was the first. But 
then every team should be investigated. This is called scouting. Now, yeah, I, but see, Robert's wrong. I, I'm, I'm just, he's, I'm just yeah, giving you his, his take on it. He's this. wrong. He doesn't know the rule. In 1994, they 1994. All right, um, Jack wasn't even alive. Okay, that's not. This is not a a new rule. It's 1994 that in person scouting has been banned. So it's not a new rule. And if coaches have been eschewing it since 1994 and getting away with it, then the real question is who reported this because then it's one of those things that's been accepted practice but but not enforced. So I don't know. And that, that gets into another weird gray area of why is it a rule if you're not going to enforce it? You know, it's interesting because we do high school football. We do a lot of high school football. And every game that we broadcast, there is – Always a group of anywhere between three and, what, six or seven Garrett scouts from the opposing yeah. team. That's been the way it is. I did not know that this was not something that happened in college football, so I'm dumb to it, so it's hard for me to well, comment. Well, the difference would be in that high school football, you cannot trust that you're going to have film every week. There's not a um, thing called huddle. Yeah, well, but but even still, like you have to have access. And yeah, you have there was to, some old stories yeah, some about old stories. John so like, Outlaw, Art Bryles, and company when they played each other. That Outlaw didn't want to share tape, and yeah. so he went and found other teams that he knew. And so that there's so now a, that yeah. there now that there's huddle, and that that makes it different. But there was no guarantee in college football for a very long time. There was it's you're going to get film of the other team. That's just how it was because they didn't want to get into the like, well, you know, Jim Tressel didn't want to send Lloyd Carr the video and here we have a whole thing. You know, now you got to go get it from everybody else and then all the other coaches are mad at Jim Tressel because he doesn't share video and you have to do more work. It's just accepted practice. That's why this is this is such a kind of confusing thing. Also, um, high school scouts, like, look, it, there's not many signs to steal in high school. You're not going to pile on you know, with a kid. Well, I think it's a lot more complicated now than yeah. it might have been but back you're when still they didn't not want going. to share a film. Yeah. yeah but. uh, the Michigan State president released a statement on this as far as the information statement from interim president Teresa Woodruff. As we look forward to the football game this Saturday, they're playing Michigan. We are chagrined by the news of the NCAA investigation. We echo the Big Ten Conference commitment to integrity. The allegations are concerning, but. Yeah, and I'm trying not to. I'm, I'm waiting for more details on what Me exactly too. happened because you know I, I've learned, especially with this uh, latest war we've got, the misinformation on social media and particularly Twitter. I'm not, I'm not calling it what it's actually called now. It's always going to be Twitter to me. Um, there's just so much BS and bot stuff and what have you that it's impossible to try and and find what's actually the truth. You yeah, know what like I mean? You might see a story about a bombing that was like I hate to say that was like nine years ago. Or whatever. I get what you're saying. Uh, there's just a lot of misinformation, and there has been for quite some time. And so it's, uh, you know, it's it's hard to sort through and get what's really factual about what the allegations are. Because I've already seen, you know, a guy basically trying to spoon feed Michigan fans for interaction, saying, "Oh, it's just it was just cheeseburgers, and now they're trying to witch hunt Harbaugh again." It's like, why? What would the purpose? Like, why would? What is the? What, what would the NCAA gain by taking down Harbaugh on some random witch hunt? What what benefit would they get yeah. for that? There's none whatsoever to do that something like that. So you have to sort through like that kind of thing, and then you got to sort through the Harbaugh should be burned at the stake, and you know here he is, he is a rep, and so there's a middle ground somewhere in there, and I need more details to figure out exactly what's going on because all you see is sign stealing or you know scouting impermissibly. And it's hard to, based on what I've read, at least so far, know exactly what that means. I mean, and so, yeah, is this the Astros all over again? It, you know, is this something that's being blown out of proportion? Uh, I according, don't know. According to a report by Yahoo Sports, Michigan allegedly had people attending games of future opponents as well as possible college football playoff opponents to gather information on signs used to call plays on offense and defense. They could be fans in the stand. It could be planted in the stand, you know, and you have seventy-five to a hundred thousand people in some of these stadiums. That's kind of interesting, you know. You wear a different cap. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's I very, know. it's very Belichickian, uh, you know, in in that regard. But yeah, it's it's just it's it's a strange thing. And, and again, we don't we don't know what's going on. I saw Andy Staples talking about this a second ago. He said, "Here's what's funny about it: uh, you could solve this problem very easily, especially given as much money as everybody has now." 
do what the NFL does and put a radio in the helmet. Well, they've been trying to do that. They've been wanting yeah. that for a long time, yeah. and for yeah, whatever that's reason, true. that's not happened. Um, but, yeah, that's what the NFL did for this very reason. And for whatever reasons, the NCAA or college football has been slow to adopt that. I think that maybe this kickstarts that now, and you see that get done. But, yeah, there is a simple solution to it, and it's having what you said. But, yeah, I mean, it, it does kind of seem just like another random weirdo Jim Harbaugh story. Like, who else is getting – you know, like, it's just weird stories that crop up with him. Um, I don't know what the, the incentive would be for any witch hunts out there. Um, I also know that um, – Coaches try to find every advantage they possibly can, so to completely rule out that he might be bending the rules a little bit or finding a way to get better. I, I yeah, I totally believe that. I'm sorry, but yeah, I do. I've been around college football long enough to know that all of these goody two shoes that you try to pretend these guys are sometimes like they're competitors at the end of the day with millions of dollars on the line, and so yeah, they're going to try to find advantages wherever they can. So yeah, I, I can absolutely believe it. I don't know the extreme of it of of how outraged you know opposing coaches should be uh, clearly Michigan State doesn't have a problem playing them uh, but it seems like there's more to unpack here like there was with the recruiting violation allegations so I don't I don't know what to make of it entirely it's just kind of humorous I guess or unsurprising that there's another little Michigan Jim Harbaugh situation that's arisen because it just seems like that kind of comes with the territory with him on occasion and so here we are somebody uh, on Twitter also saying oh great Michigan State commenting on integrity uh, I mean, with, it's Twitter. With, like, come I, on. Yeah. I, I'm, it, yeah. It, it's, I agree. Uh, one other note, by the way, um, I, I really did not know the rule. I, I thought, just like I've said about some if a high school, you, you leave room for five to seven different scouts, and sometimes more press boxes are more crowded than others. So there you are with that. I just think it sucks you got a really good team and you have something stupid like this pop up now. So now that could be the reason why people are skeptical of the timing of it. It's like, oh, Michigan is playing great, and now, you know, Somebody somewhere needs to derail them or something. I, again, I don't, I, I don't know how that would all come to fruition or you know how that would even work, but um, there is that thought out there. Um, and so, yeah, I, I feel like, for me at least, I need to see more information before just getting all hot and bothered about Jim Harbaugh being a cheater or um, you know completely brushing it to the side. I think there's probably somewhere in the middle where the truth lies with all of this. And, and again, I, I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if a college football coach is trying to find an advantage somewhere. Someone, uh, I forgot the name because I did Twitter or our chat, stat room. Uh, watch the NCAA step in, nail Harbaugh, Michigan on the wall of this, making them vacate the Big 10 championship. I don't see... Canelio, appreciate that. I don't see that in any way, shape, or form. Will there be a fine or reprimand, public, whatever, perhaps, if, in fact, whatever the details really are. Here's what I wonder on things like this. All the rest of the 129 or 30, whatever the number of schools are going, hey, are we doing this? I mean, you wonder. I mean, that's that's why I'm curious about is, like, how many people are doing this practice, Uh I would love, personally, I would love, because I think it's kind of cartoonish, given our technology now, that there are, um, you know, signs uh, up on the thing. We need to put a question mark after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. On, on our title. <laughs> on that title. <laughs> on the title of our screen, we need to put Michigan treat, question mark, please, if, if whoever does that. Thank yeah. You. Um, so, anyway, uh, but no, like, get rid of the signs with a picture of, you know, Daffy Duck and Lee Corso and a pair of blue jeans. Uh that way you can just go ahead and, and embrace the technology that is readily available to you and probably not as expensive as um, a lot of the people would have you believe it is uh, and, and get this out and fix the problem because then you wouldn't have to, to signal things in. Uh, and But on the other hand of like, okay, so the NCAA is going to investigate this. There's no way that they can get it done in season because they've never done that before. So there's all this you know red tape that they're going to create. Well, so if Michigan goes through – and say goes 14 and 0, 15 and 0, wins the national championship, and then two years from now, the NCAA comes down to them, or three years from now, does that change the fact that if you were, uh, you know, Georgia and got beat by Michigan and didn't have a three peat, that, well, what did oh, they do it's yours the, now? What did they do with the Astros? People got fired and then, you know, kind of tainted their reputation, but they didn't take the World Series away. Yeah, from. I mean, so like, but it, Again, if, and I don't even want to go there because we don't even know what the details. Yeah, are, so that's said, that's yeah. that's the thing is okay. So say he is doing it. What are you going to? And this is maybe part of Jim Harbaugh's calculation in the thing is. So we're doing it. What are you going to do about it right now? I'm trying to win the national championship in 2023. In 2027, we can talk about it when you figure it all out. Uh, Northeast Ohio, Boise State, 